Hey guys, my name's Dave from Guitar Zero to Hero and in this video I'm going to be doing a demo and review of the Spark Amp from Positive Grid. Now I've had this amp for a couple of weeks now and I honestly love the features of this amp. They call it the smart way to play guitar and the reason being is because it's packed with these interactive smart features with the app that I certainly haven't seen in any other practice amp. Now I think a problem for a lot of beginners and even advanced players out there is you end up playing the same stuff over and over again on guitar and sometimes you can lose inspiration. After having this amp for a little bit, I've been playing a lot more guitar with the, the app and the jamming features and I think that's what they were going for, an amp that really inspires and encourages you to play more guitar and most importantly just have fun, right? Now three main features come to mind if I were to highlight the cool stuff that this amp can do other than being a great standalone desktop amp. Now the first one is auto chords. Now with auto chords you can load up any song from YouTube, Spotify or Apple Music into the Spark app and it will analyze that song and it will give you the chords for that song which is awesome. So it will in real time show you the chord charts. So it's similar to how my YouTube tutorials work where the um, chords sc scroll across. And um, honestly, it could probably put me out of a job. But uh, anyway, onto the second main feature and that's the Smart Jam. Now with the Smart Jam, um, I think a lot of guitarists out there uh, know it's hard to find a good drummer and bassist out there. So with Smart Jam, you can, uh, if you've got a cool chord progression, you can just play the chord progression, the Spark app will analyze that and then it'll give you a drummer and bassist that plays along with what you just played, which is really cool. And then you can just start soloing on top of it. And the third feature that I love about this amp is the tone cloud. So with the Spark app, you get 10,000 tones given to you. 10,000 preset tones that sound all really cool. So these are tones created by a positive grid, um, producers and artists, and they're all up in the tone cloud. So you can just scroll through them and you don't have to worry about creating your own tones. You can just browse the tone cloud and have a lot of fun with the 10,000 tones that are already included in the app. So that's awesome. Now couple all those features together with the fact that this amp just sounds great by itself and you got a serious product. Positive Grid are well known for their amp and tube modeling. So you're getting realistic tube amp and effects powered by the BIOS software. So moving on, I'm gonna start by giving you a rundown of the physical amp itself in the top panel. And then I'm gonna run you through the Spark app. And then towards the end of the video, I'll be playing through some of the tones so you can hear how it sounds. Now the amp itself is a 40 watt desktop amp. Yes, 40 watts, so it can actually crank very loud. It's got two custom four inch speakers with full range sound and it's Bluetooth enabled as well. So you can use it just as a standalone speaker for streaming music, which is awesome. Now on the top panel, starting from the far left here, we have our amp model selection. So you have acoustic, bass, clean, glassy, crunch, high gain, and metal amps to choose from. So this amp handles acoustic and bass guitar, so it caters to all different types of guitarists, which is great. Moving on from that, you've got your typical amp controls. So you've got your gain, your three band EQ, and master volume to control the amp. And then moving on, we have modulation. So that's effects like chorus and trem. And then we have our delay, reverb. Above that, you've got four preset buttons here. So you can save four preset tones onto the amp itself without having to go into the app. And then you've got a tap tempo button here for the delay. 
And this actually doubles as a tuner as well, which is awesome. Now I believe every amp should have a tuner in one way or another. To use this tuner, you just hold down on the tap tempo button until the lights stop flashing. And then you can tune like that. Now it won't show you the exact note that you're playing, but it's a fine tuner. So you'll just tune until you get to the green light and that will mean that you're in pitch and that's enough anyway for most guitarists. Finally, we have a master output knob. In terms of connections, you've got a standard guitar input. Uh, for the headphones, you've got a 1 8 inch headphone jack and then at the back of the unit, you got a USB connection for USB recording. The amp itself is about five kilograms. It comes with this nice leather finish and it comes included with a leather strap as well for carrying around. So that's it for the amp itself, pretty much what you'd expect from a desktop amp. Now let's move on to the app. Now this is where the real magic of the Spark kicks in. This is where all the smart features are and this is where you can really fine tune and hone in on your tones. Now there's seven main parts to the chain that you can tweak here. So we have uh, noise gate, compression, drive, amp, modulation, delay and reverb as a part of our chain. Now to turn something on or off, you just slide it down or slide it up. Now if you wanna change something like the amp, you just double tap on it and you can browse through the other options. So we have 30 different amps you can choose from within this app, which is heaps. So there's a lot of tonal possibilities here. Moving on to the cool features that I was talking about before, let's start with auto chords. So if you go to the music tab here, there'll be um, a curated list of backing tracks that you can start jamming to right away and they have all the chords showing as well in real time. But um, let's load up uh, an, another song. So let's load up something that uh, I already know the chords to. So Green Day's Time of Your Life, really simple. G, C add nine and D. So you can just search up here in the top. I've, uh, it's in my search history. So you type it there and it'll just search from YouTube results and uh, you'll find it. all the YouTube results here. So you just tap on the song there and the Spark app will analyze it and uh, it will play it back with the chords in real time. So as you can see here, it's got the chords G, C, D, which is what we expected, right? Now it's not gonna be 100% accurate, right? So it's not gonna give you chord variations and whatnot, it'll give you the, the basic chords. And it's not always 100% correct, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, in this example, it's pretty much spot on. We've got G, C, D, G, C, D. We've got the E minor there for our pre-chorus. Now I don't have the audio playing just for copyright purposes, but um, you'll see that the song will play and the chords will scroll across in real time with the song. So that's really cool. Um, what you can do is you can loop certain parts as well. You can slow it down and you can apply uh, a capo as well. If um, the song has weird chord shapes, you can push this capo button and it'll give you easier open chord shapes, which is really handy. Now the auto chords isn't gonna nail everything 100%. For the more complicated songs out there, sometimes we'll get a few things funny, but for the most part, it's pretty damn good. Uh, but I wouldn't expect it to be 100% um, anyway. As a musician, you've got to use your own discretion. Um, this is a great guiding tool, but it's not a note-for-note -note transcriber, but it's a, a really good guide. Now, the second thing I mentioned before was the Smart Jam feature, so let's run through that. So there's already some pre-made smart jams here with virtual drummers and bassists, but if you want to create your own, you go to create and then you say, let's jam. So if you've got a cool rhythm um, part, so um, you'll tap it in. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and you press start. So that's my part, I'll press OK, and then I'll start creating the backing track, which is awesome. So I'll give me a virtual drummer and bassist to solo on top with. So um, you can actually go into um, the main panel whilst it's playing, um, not playing it just so you can hear what I'm saying. 
and uh, you can change the tone whilst it's playing and then start soloing on top. It will show you the chords here on the screen that it's come up with and uh, let's hear how it sounds. So moving on to the third cool feature that I mentioned before, and that's the tone cloud. So if you go home, um, you tap up here and that's the tone cloud. And here you'll see 10,000 different tones that you can choose from. And um, the other cool thing is that you can actually upload your own tones from to the tone library. So if you've created a cool patch that you like, you can just go up here, say share to the tone cloud. And that's what I love about this ecosystem is that everyone can share their own favorite sounds and uh, you can download them too. So um, the Tone Cloud, super awesome and comes preloaded with 10,000 presets. So that's more than enough to get you going. Now, speaking of tones, uh, I'll now play through a few of the tones on this amp so you can just hear how it sounds. <laughs>
So there you have it guys, that's the Spark Amp from Positive Grid. If you wanna pick up one for yourself, then head to the link down in the description below. Um, yeah, just a really great amp. It's got great tone, great features, but most importantly, it's gonna encourage you and give you the inspiration to make music, uh, jam along and become a better guitarist. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests down below. I'd love it if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Again, hope you've enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.